thanks for your speech. And um, I'm a PhD student in political science. And last time, uh, Dr. Morris Chang uh, come here and gave a talk. And he mentioned that a PhD degree isn't that important. Uh, but however, you hold a <laughs> PhD degree. So I want to look for your view that uh, the impact of PhD on your career. Thank you. Yeah, well, first of all, we uh, all love Dr. Morris Chang, so <laughs> he is an icon for everybody in the semiconductor industry. So I cannot contradict him. <laughs> <laughs> but my personal opinion is uh, a PhD is actually pretty useful. That's my personal opinion. Because you get to work on some problem, you know, during your PhD thesis, you work on some problem that should nobody else is really working on in, in the world. And that gives you a lot of opportunity to explore much broadly than sometimes in a company you become much more focused. So I actually think PhD is pretty useful, but it's different for every, every person. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, um, morning, Dr. Su and President Chen. Um, as Dr. Su mentioned before, it's like um, graduate school training is different from the you know, undergrad school, all the stuff. And then I'm just curious about what top three things you sh think as an engineering student is the soft skill or hard skill that we should learn from the graduate school. And then the other thing is that I wanna ask about um, what is the mindset about when you having setbacks in rock bottoms, what keeps you keep going? Like that, that not just in the companies, about life, about everything that happens to you. Thank you. So uh, the, um, the top, you said soft skills. So I would say um, a few things. Uh, one is, you know, you really have to think that the, the world changes very fast. So it's important to be actually quite agile in your thinking. Maybe today you think this is the right path, but you will learn something every day. And um, I have a big philosophy that says uh, you need to continuously learn all the time. Like every day you're gonna learn something new mm -hmm. and you can decide how you might change your path. That's, um, that's something that uh, I use very much and I would suggest that that's an important, um, you call it soft skill. <laughs> So, uh, and then to your second question about um, how do you deal with setbacks, uh, I would say, look, I said earlier, you actually learn the most when you have a setback, when you have a failure, when you have something. Like, I can tell you so many examples of my, uh, my setbacks, but my advice to you is uh, you can be sad for just a short time. Of course, we're all you know, human beings, right? So if you have something that you're working on that didn't go the way you wanted to, you might be a little bit unhappy, uh, but only for a very short time. And mm -hmm. then after that, uh, you learn and you get uh, uh, really focused on your next thing. Okay. And I think that's the, the key piece. Um. So given that AMD only have uh, around a third uh, number of employees than that of Intel and uh, only roughly similar to NVIDIA, um, like, do you have three to five strategies, principles or anything um, uh, for you to kind of like decide and manage uncertainty? Uh, because just now we mentioned that um, the semiconductor, uh, semiconductor industry is uh, changing very fast, uh, and uh, there's AI uh, coming um, uh, in the very near future, even uh, happening right now. Um, uh, and so, um, what are the strategies and principles uh, to stay uh, competitive yet innovative, innovative uh, and also uh, stay agile? Uh, while also uh, maintaining the most uh, profitability and sustainability. And my second question is that, uh, do you, like, for AMD, um, do you always compete head to head uh, with other companies um, in the same industry? Uh, 
or do you like how do you identify a new blue ocean for uh, AMD to uh, have a, a nicer, uh, you know, business and also uh, largest profit? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so, very long question. <laughs> So your first question about um, you know number of people and the strategies. Let me say one thing. Uh, I'm a big believer in it's not the number of people that you have for anything. For you know if you think about a company or if you think about a project, it's not the number of people that you have. It's do you have the right people uh, okay. to do yeah. the, the things. Yeah. So when um, when I first started at AMD, we had 8,000 people. Uh, people used to say, oh my goodness, you're so small compared to Intel. Actually, at that time, I think Intel maybe had 10 times the people yeah. of AMD. And they said, Lisa, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? You cannot possibly win. And I said, really? Hmm. Why, is, why do you say that? I, I actually don't feel that way. <laughs> I don't feel that it's a number of people. I feel that it's the right people with the right project, with the right focus, and the right vision. And to the, to the point about how do you optimize, I think everyone has, you know, in your mind uh, what you can see as your path, and uh, every company's path is different. So I think from uh, my standpoint, uh, and, you know, maybe since this is the last question, I will make it a little bit broader. Uh, we are incredibly lucky to be in this technology field. I hope all of you feel this way, because, you know, we're working on things. What I really enjoy about um, what we're doing in technology is the technology that we're working on is touching billions of people every day. It is having an impact on people's lives. It will make companies better. It will make your life better. It will make our, uh, our future um, healthcare better. It will make our future um, sustainability better from all of those aspects. We're very lucky to work on this type of technology. Mm -hmm. And so we have to find, you know, what is it that we're going to do best? And for us at AMD, it's around high performance computing. I don't believe that um, we can do everything. So, but I do believe that in high performance computing, uh, it can have a, a very uh, wonderful impact on people's lives, and you know that's what we uh, we choose to do.